Hey guys, good morning. Hey, you know, I just recently did a review on these uh, Aguila mini shells and also these uh, these Federal shorties, and I used a uh, Remington 870 pump, and you know these little guys just didn't work very well in that. And I I've actually made several videos using these, and somebody will always ask me, Hey, will these work in a semi-auto shotgun? And you know what I've always said I, I doubt it because I don't think they would generate enough energy to to work the action but I got thinking hey you know what let's try it so I got a couple of semi-auto 12 gauge shotguns this is a TriStar Raptor tell you what really like this shotgun in fact I I have two of them my son and I we use these every year for uh, for uh, bird hunting rabbit hunting so we're gonna try them in this one and I also have a Remington 1100 look at this beauty huh so uh, again I don't think they're gonna work so I also brought a couple of other shotguns just for backup just so we can have a little fun while we're out here so let's take a look at these other shotguns I do have a couple double barrel shotguns. We'll take a look at uh, one of those here in just a moment. But I also have this single shot 12 gauge made by New England Firearms. And this belongs to my son. He's had it about 15 years. I did cut the barrel down to 18 and a half inches. But what I like about this uh, shotgun, it's fun to shoot. And it also kicks them out pretty good. So let's take a look at a double barrel. All right, look at this little beauty, huh? This is a Rossi I picked up, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago at a Las Vegas gun show. Paid a hundred bucks for it, believe it or not. But look at that, outside hammers. How cool is that, huh? Yeah, we're gonna enjoy shooting this one. And I do have one more, but I'll show you that when we get uh, ready to shoot it. But right now, let's uh, let's set up some targets and try these semi-auto shotguns. All right, we're going to start off with the uh, Remington 1100. I'm going to put a couple in the magazine and see if they're going to feed into the chamber. Make sure the safety's on here. Oh, it fed. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fire this and see if it's going to work the action and chamber another round. Nope. Oh, you see that? That one popped in there and it turned around backwards. So we know it will not uh, work the action on this. So let's try the TriStar. All right, the TriStar. Now this one loads a little different than, uh, say, an American shotgun. On this one here, and I'm going to use a uh, standard shell, put it in a magazine, and then I have to hit this little release right here. And what that does, it puts the round on top of the, uh, the lifter right here, and now I can charge it and fire just like a regular semi-auto. So that's how those feed. So let's put in three mini shells again these are the uh, buckshot rounds okay let's see if it's gonna feed uh oh you can see it fed uh, fed two of them right there so we have a total jam so let me clear this 
hopefully. Right, keep that camera going. I still have one in the magazine. Let's let's try two. Now see it's feeding both rounds. So let's try this. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, but uh, you know what? There's one more thing I wanna try here. Okay, I have a round in the chamber. Let's put one in the magazine, and let's see what happens. <laughs> Keep filming. <laughs> see that? So, the action did come back a little bit, but obviously not enough. So you know what? I'm not even going to attempt these anymore. They're just not going to work. So now we know. You know what? I'm going to try this again with a slug. I would imagine these slugs probably produce a little more energy. So again, let's go with two rounds, see what happens. Not again, another double feed. Come on now. Keep that camera going, son. We'll get it. Okay, there's one. All right. So I have a slug in here. Let's see if it's going to feed this okay. Almost, but not quite. I do have that second round in there that wanted to feed, but it did feed, but I'm not going to I'm not going to shoot it. So, no, they will not feed and cycle mini shells. Let's break out a double barrel shotgun. Alright, so will these work in a double barrel? Of course they will, so you know what? Check this out. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that, huh? You know what? Let's just have a little fun. Oh, right in the face. Don't you slap me. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> All right, let's break out my other shotgun here. This one here is a Stoger coach gun. And I'll tell you what, I, I used to use this one when I was shooting uh, cowboy action matches. And I won a lot of matches using this old shotgun. I bought this, I think, in 2003, 2004. 
Stoger Coach Gun. See if you can see that. All right, let's uh, let's put some rounds through this one because I I really do like shooting this one. Two rounds of bird shot. Yeah, look at that, huh? <laughs> Whoa! That was pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that, huh? Keep filming. Get that can. All right. Well, there you have it. We uh, we had fun shooting this today. Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. You know, those mini shells, very little recoil, very effective. They will work in a Mossberg 500 series pump shotgun with the Opsol adapter, but if you don't have a Mossberg, you got a single shot or a double barrel, man, they're just a lot of fun. Anyway, subscribe, hit that like button, and we got two rounds left. All yours, son. All right, thank you. Hey, you know, I just recently did a uh, a review on these mini shells, these little guys right here, and uh, I tried these in a Remington. Uh, I can't. Cut take seventeen. Uh, this thing is really fun to shoot, and one thing I like about it is, well, that kind of petered out. Ah, uh, cut. Outside hammers, is that cool or what? And uh, I'll show you the other shotgun, the other double barrel, but video about when we start shooting. <laughs> blew it, you blew it. Cut.